We've got lots of uh, people joining us right now. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're just going to wait for those who have registered to join. We'll give them a few minutes, so we'll start then. But while you're waiting, maybe you could write in the chat box where you are logging in from today. Um, whose country you're on? We are celebrating NAIDOC week, uh, healing country, acknowledging country. If you don't know whose traditional land you are on, just ask in the chat box, say where you are and ask because someone else quite possibly will know and that's how we all learn new things. So, hello Nat Gilchrist, Goulburn, meeting place, Gadigal land, Goulburn, Darug, lots of people, Wadjak Nunga, Sandy from Yellowkit, Willem country, part of the Boon Thank you, Sandy. Awabakul. Look at these people. This is great. We've got our own Aboriginal United Nations happening here today. This is great. 59, 50 people online. <laughs> Medina Penrith, hello. Okay, so we've got a few, we've got a few cousins online too today, which is great. <laughs> Family, that's what you want to do. Maxine South on Central Coast, Dark and Jung. Hello. Steve Caston, Melbourne CDD, CBD. Whose country is that, Steve? We'll do a little bit of Koori trivia here. We've got Bidjigal Country down from the NJP. Gazella Wilson, Wiradjuri, joining from the land of the Bidjigal peoples out near La Perouse at Upper Matraville in between Long Bay Jail, Malabar Sewerage Works and Orica Industrial Estate. It is God's own country. Okay. Well, we've got 55 people logged in. I think we might start if that's okay with everybody. Is everybody yeah. that thumbs up? Can I get a thumbs up? We're ready to go? Beautiful. Okay, welcome everyone. I really, I think it's time to get started. We're gonna start this NAIDOC celebration. So in my Wiradjuri language, I'd like to say, Iridumurung, Yuwundu, Yanada Heis, Baladu Wiradjuri, Gilang, Arambachi Bu, Burangli Bu, Meagandi, Bala Williams, Injimata Du, Turubugu, Jagarugu, Yagarugu, Meanjingu, Mangu. Thank you also, thank you for joining us. My name's Anita Heiss. Um, I have Wiradjuri belonging from Arambi and Brungle Missions in Central New South Wales, and I am a Williams. And today I'm logging in from the land of the Yuggera, Turrbal and Jagara peoples in Mianjin, which is the traditional name for Brisbane. And I pay my respects to the traditional owners here, the current caretakers of country, and the original storytellers of this place, because today what we're doing is we're celebrating stories and the love of poetry in the memory of our beautiful Naomi. So I can see there's more people joining us, which is fantastic from all around the country. Then we've got over there in uh, Fremantle as well. So thank you very much. Um, I'm glad that you, we're all glad, all the judges and myself and the family, are glad that you could be with us for this very special event to announce the winners of the Naomi Williams Wiradjuri Poetry Prize. I'd like to thank our judges for joining us. We've got, we can maybe get a wave there. We've got Cheryl Penrith, um, probably down on, in Wagga Wagga on Wiradjuri country today. We've got Amy <coughs> all the way over in the West on Noongar country. Uh, George Newhouse from the National Justice Project, I believe probably down there in Gadigal country, uh, one of the 29 clan groups of uh, the Eora Nation. Naomi's mother, Sharon Williams, also joining us today. Thank you all for being part of this very special and important initiative. Uh, a very special Iridumurung, good day to the students over there at Brungle School who are logged in as well. So I think that's commitment because I thought, I thought New South Wales schools were on uh, holidays, but I might be wrong. Today, as you'll all know, we are coming together not only to hear Wiradjuri poetry, but to celebrate the life of my beautiful cousin, Naomi Williams. She was a cherished member of our family whose love of writing and poetry now lives on through the Naomi Williams Wiradjuri Poetry Prize. And this is part of her legacy. Nay was a very strong, incredibly proud Wiradjuri woman from the Tumut Brungle area of New South Wales, and she loved writing poetry. She wrote about the river, she wrote about her family, and she wrote about all elements of love that she treasured in her people, the land, and so forth. And today, we also come together to celebrate NAIDOC Week. This year, the theme of NAIDOC Week reflects the theme also of the Naomi Williams Wiradjuri Poetry Prize, Healing Country, Healing Mob. 
Now we asked, when we did a call out for submissions, we asked our Wiradjuri writers and our poets to reflect on the theme of, of healing country, healing mob, and the quality of the ent entries and the number of entries is quite extraordinary. And it's testament to the depth of Wiradjuri literary talent and what healing country and healing mob means to us as individuals and collectively as a community. We've got some of our winners and are highly commended online today. So that's very exciting. And we're going to um, announce them and we're going to hear their poems being read live to you right now. I'm just gonna check, have we got Sharon Williams online at the moment? I don't know. Uh, Tim, Tim's talking to her right now. Okay, so what we might do is we might come back to the adult category if that's okay. Uh, we might uh, go straight to the youth category prize announcements. And I'd like to invite Cheryl Penrith to announce the youth category winner, please. Hello everybody from Wagga. I'm zooming in from Wagga. Um, I'd like to also um, congratulate everybody who's put in a poem. There were so many fantastic poems. Um, in the youth category, um, the winner was Arissa McAllister. Congratulations, Arissa. We might all do a little um, round of applause. Round of applause. Of applause. <laughs> and um, the highly commended in this category, in the youth category, was Nagali Williams. So congratulations, Arissa, and congratulations, Nagali. And thank you, everybody that put in um, put in a poem, to, um, you know, to reflect the um, hill country theme this year for, for Naomi. So thank you. Thank you very much. I don't think we have our winners and highly commended oh. online. They weren't uh, available to join us today. Um, and I don't have permission to read their poems, so I won't do that. But hopefully in the future, we will have an anthology of um, poetry under the branding of the Naomi Williams or Audrey Poetry Prize. So we can enjoy reading it there. We might now move to the kids category. Uh, the prize announcements, and I'm going to invite Amy Williams over there on the West Coast in Noongar country to make those announcements, please. Take myself off mute. Hello, everyone. It's Amy here. I'm Naomi's uh, big cousin. Um, just want to give a quick shout out to all her mob and family and friends that are tuned in and say a big thank you to everyone that's entered uh, poems for this year. Um, I'm calling in from Noongar country over in Western Australia, um, but very proud to be involved in this Wiradjuri writing competition. Um, very excited to be announcing the kids category this year. So our winners in this kids category um, are Jack Burns and Ricky Penrith, both from Brungle Public School and they're both online today. They're going to join us and read their poems. So thank you guys. I hope you're not too nervous there. But who's going to go first? I think we're going to do Jack Burns first as the winner for the kids category. <laughs> No, <laughs> so was the youngest first. Catastrophic fires burning out of control, destroying my memories, hurting my, hurting my soul. What? Our sacred places turned to ash, lost forever, made into trash. Birds dropping out of the sky, suffocating, dying, makes me cry. Time to change our animals need saving to stop these bushfires burning and raging. Cultural burning's the only way to help the landscape from death and decay. Thanks, Jack. Well done, good job. Thank and you. we've also got, oh yeah, let's give a big clap and a round of applause. Thank you, Jack, you did well. Yeah, so we've got a joint, we've got joint winners for this kids category and Ricky Penrith is also there at Brungle Public School. Ricky, are you ready to read out your poem as well? Okay. Abri Aboriginal people need hydration. You're putting us in frustration. Caregivers don't get pollution. We need a revolution. We use our ochre. We don't play poker. Try to make a change. The way you do life is strange. There shouldn't be stations. Let us heal our nations. 
Stop burning our trees and sit down and feel the breeze. Well done, Ricky. Good job. Thanks, guys. So we had two winners for the kids category and we've got a highly commended winner as well. That's Lily Sampson. But I don't think we've got Lily on the line today. So I'll hand back to Anita to continue the other categories. Thank you, Amy. Congratulations, uh, Ricky and Jack. Before you turn off your mic, sneak your mic back on. I'm one, how old are you? Because when we get the when we get the poems in, we don't get anybody's names or how old people are. So how old are you both? I'm eleven. Wow. And I'm ten. And you're ten. Well, I think you've got a bright future for writing in 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 ahead of you. So thank you for contributing, and hopefully you'll throw your poetry in for next year as well. Congratulations again. Uh, do we have Sharon online yet? Uh, George, would you no, like... Let me, let me give you an ETA, just one sec. Like, this is how we do it in community Zooming. As we mentioned, we lived without this technology for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> and the suspense, the suspense grows for the winners of the uh, <laughs> adult section, of course. Do people want to put in the chat box what they're reading this NAIDOC week? What are people reading this NAIDOC week? I'm reading Larissa Barrent's After Story, fresh out of UQP uh, this week, but also only Patsy Cameron and Lisa Kennedy's uh, Sea Country, set down in Tassie, off Flinders Island, I should say Flinders Island. Living in Hope by Jack Burns. Your Facebook feed, excellent, Medina. Drop <laughs> in, yeah, by Evelyn Araluen is brilliant. And we now we have Sharon Williams online, which is fantastic. Sharon, of course, uh, another very strong Wiradjuri woman and Naomi's mother. And Sharon, hi Sharon. Sharon is going to announce for us the winners of the uh, adult category, the winner and the highly commended. You're on mute, Chaz. You're on mute, Chaz. How did we ever survive before Zoom? <laughs> Press the... Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hooray. <laughs> I didn't realise that I was reading out the winners. <laughs> um, so you're going to have to help me. <laughs> so it's just the winner for the adult. Is yes. That correct? Okay. Yes. Well, I'm proud to announce the winner of the adult category of the. Naomi Williams Wiradjuri Poetry Prize for 2021 is Jasmine Williams. <laughs> Yay! Pandango Vidyara. Pandango. Thank you very much, everybody, for this opportunity. I initially was a little hesitant putting in my poem for consideration because. The panel was made up of mop, <laughs> um, but I was um, happy to hear that everything was de-identified. Um, so it gave everyone a fighting chance. Um, and with your permission, I'd love to, to read the poem. Please. Hi. So the poem is called Wiradjuri Yenna, and it goes like this. As I sit on the banks of the Madambijibila, I listen to the Gugubada sing. With my feet in the sand, my mob by my side, I still feel as though I'm missing something. My mother, the land, has fought to survive amongst the greed and the hatred years after genocide. Wiradjuri and proud, my culture is my history. I can see in my mind those beautiful ceremonies and healing traditions, and I wonder why today we're still told it's all a mystery. The Guga, my protector, so fierce in many ways, a survivor of our spirit in my times of need. 
He never turns his back on me. Forever with me, he stays. The bond we have with our land cannot be explained. Like a mother to her children, the connections remain the same. From the wildlife to the waterholes, the trees, the sand and the stars. This is my mother. I feel her in my heart. As I close my eyes and vision my people and their ways, all I can hope for my children is that they have a better start. We need to bring back ceremony for our law and our land to help those who are willing to respect us and to understand. We are the Wiradjuri people and we are proud of it. No matter what obstacles may lie in our path, respect to my ancestors who always stayed above it. Mandangul. Beautiful, Jasmine. And Sharon, thank you so much for reciting that and, and uh, sharing that with us today. Um, Jasmine, hopefully we can get that published moving forward as well. And Sharon, would you like now like to announce the highly commended poet? Um. <laughs> I thought Amy was going to do that. I've done my category, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... But I can help out if I you need. need someone else to do it. If you do, well, if you just announce the winner and the winner can announce the, no, uh, announce the title of the poem. Have you got the highly commended there? I haven't got, I haven't got the list with me. Oh. Amy? I was yeah. too trying to get on here. <laughs> um, well, I think we've got the highly commended adult prize winner online with us and it's Alison Barnes. Are you there, Alison? Yes, you're on mute there. Hello. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Very Would you good. like to, are you able to pronounce the uh, title of your poem for us and then read it? Um, sure. I apologise to anyone who speaks language better than I do for my pronunciation of this word because there's no translation in the dictionary. Um, the poem's called Nahugu Yung Ganbul Maran Gijul. Sorry, I am learning Wiradjuri from a dictionary. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Every time I make a healthy choice, every time I respect my own boundaries, Every time I make me a priority, I can feel my ancestors wrapping me in their arms, giving thanks, whispering words of encouragement. I can't fix the past, but I can heal myself. I can break the cycle. I can heal my family. I can take back what was stolen. In learning to love myself, I can be a little kinder, to be a little more forgiving, to show a little more compassion. I can heal myself. I can heal country. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Alison. Congratulations. Thank you, Alison. People could show their appreciation in the chat box. That would be wonderful. Obviously, it's a very emotional uh, story for you. I translated another woman board from Gidjal to my self healing would that be would that be a, the appropriate way to term to phrase what you were trying to say in your poem um, yes healing yourself yeah yep. beautiful thank you congratulations again thank you well, that brings us to the end of the official announcements um, that's so it's very that you may want to scroll through and have a look at some of the applause and the congratulations you've got there Ricky and Jack and Alison and Jazzy there's some beautiful words of congratulations in the chat box for you um, I'd like to say on behalf of the National Justice Project and the Williams family that we'd all like to congratulate our deadly poets on their work. We want to thank them for submitting to this year's prize. You've heard some of the winning poetry and um, it's very, very personal in its story, but yet has a communal connection of caring for self-healing mob and healing country. We hope that you all uh, submit something next year as well. Thank you to our judges. 
uh, Amy, Cheryl and George and Sharon for being along in the process as well. Of course, we just got the, pro the poems uh, by category. We had no idea uh, who was who was submitting, but it's always lovely to see local mob from Brungle and so forth and, and uh, people from Wagga as well. Um, I'd like to thank the National Justice Project in particular for supporting this important recognition of Naomi's life and her legacy. And we look forward, the family look forward to working with you in the future as we build this poetry prize. Thank you to everybody at home for joining us, whether you're in lockdown or you're in the office today with colleagues uh, or you're just hanging out with friends. Thank you for giving us your time today. Have a great rest of NAIDOC week. Yinjimada bo Norobul and Mandungu. Respect and thanks and love. Bye from me. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Anita. Thank you. Bye, everybody. See you, Cheryl. Bye. Oh, bye, Jack.